does feel like though, even though there is so much stuff, do you feel like there's still something I missing think, that we need to take with us? I think we're missing one thing. It's a pretty big thing. Hello and good morning everyone! We are heading out for a seven day cruise and then we are going to stay a few extra days at the port where we leave which is Puerto Rico down in San Juan. It's going to be beautiful, it's going to be amazing and I want to make sure our family is 150% prepared. 150% is an understatement. I think we're 183% prepared. <laughs> this is just the boy guys, stuff guys. Buckle up for a packing vlog of epic proportions. This might be a lot of me talking. To those of you that are traveling any big getaway, I have read several blogs. I've gone on my Instagram account. I've asked for people to give me tips and hints and anything I can have to make this a completely successful trip where I'm not having to buy stuff on the boat because for instance we were in Lake Las Vegas our kids got burnt I want to show you this hefty price tag $17.99 I bought this at the hotel $18 to buy this how much is that at Walmart for example probably like $3 yes. okay maybe like five or six this is why you go prepared people So this is why you go prepared if I have it I won't need it so let's just have it ahead of time but I want to show you guys some of the things that I have found through reading several blog posts several hours of doing research of what it takes to take a family on a trip specifically for a cruise. Where do we even begin? First of all, I want to tell you guys we're going to be gone for seven days and then extending that trip. So we're actually going to be gone a total of 11 days. What I have done is I have packed the kids their clothes. I have got eight complete outfits with swimming suits and shirts. Some of their swimming suits they might be able to wear twice. I've also packed five pairs of shorts for each of them because some days they're going to not wear the shirt because we're going to be swimming. They can pair that shirt with a pair of shorts. And if I need to do laundry on the boat, I know there's facilities I could do that. Also, sometimes you might be staying at a timeshare or whatever that there's laundry facilities in your place. We had that in Hawaii and that was awesome. So I did laundry there. 12 pairs of underwears packed for the kids because some of their swimming suits require them to wear underwear under their suit. We've got five pairs of pajamas. They'll wear those twice. I don't even think we're packing socks because we just don't need them. I'm doing a pair of flip-flops and a pair of Tevas. They'll probably wear their like vans or something on the boat. But also what is unique to this trip that we've never done before is we're going to have a formal night. I have packed their church clothes with their dress shoes, slacks, white shirts, and ties. So they're going to look very, very nice. They've got everything here laid out and a second white shirt that's a short sleeve for the semi-formal night. That will be nice for them to look a little jazzed up. For the actual staterooms that we will be in, I read several people say bring all of these things. It's not possible to bring every single thing that I've read, so I have to look at our family and go, what are things we're going to actually use? We have a couple of these. We'll probably bring three of these. They don't allow power strips on some cruise lines, so I'm avoiding the power strip, but you can do these. They plug into an outlet, and then you have four USB, and you have six outlets that you can put into one thing. This is what we will be using. Also for the staterooms, this has been one thing I had been told to get an over-the-door organizer. Hang this in the bathroom, but you need to get magnets to attach it to the door. You can't hang things over the door. This can hold like toiletries, toothbrushes, if you really want to. Put their shoes in like the last two rows so you don't have shoes wandering everywhere. I know people have said they lose a lot of flip-flops on vacations. Also be a place to put your flip-flops. This is like what, my sixth, seventh cruise, something like that. For those of you who have not been on a cruise, the rooms are not very big. Like even the big, big, no. nice rooms are not big. Balcony rooms, not that big. We got a junior suite for our room, still not that big. The bathrooms above all are nothing. There is like, you might as well go potty in the shower because it's all one thing. In fact, they have stand-up comedians on the ships that do like entertainment and most of their jokes are about the bathroom and the staterooms. So that is why these things like organizers are so helpful. Yes. You can hang it from the door, you can load things in there because otherwise there really is no place to put stuff. There's not like a nice no, closet you can shove a suitcase counter in. Space. No counter space at all. That's just how they do cruises. They pack them really tight. So anyways, that's why that kind of a thing is a really good idea. Because we are a family of seven, we can't fit in one room. Even, even the suites you. aren't big enough. So we've got one room for Madison and the older boys and Brandon and I will take the little kids. I do have two of these, one for each room. Also another thing, Brandon thinks this is ridiculous. That's okay, I'm a mom and I know more. I bought the pop-up mesh hampers. I wish I had this in Washington, D.C. because the kids take off their clothes and they fling them. If we can just keep wandering in one place, that would really help packing up. Very smart. Maybe they will have like a thin closet we can put that in. The kids can just throw I stuff know. in there. Every single day, you'll get like a paper or a- Itinerary, I think. Like an itinerary. And I was told, bring highlighters. You can highlight the stuff that's important that you want to do. Cruises are fun. Even the at-sea days, There's they're doing activities so at the pool. There's stuff on every deck of the ship. There's so much going on that you've got to say, I want to hit this show. I want to go to this ice carving thing. So so There's clothing. so much fun stuff. I remember we went to like an auction one day. It was just really fun. Yeah, just random, but it was just fun to watch. So also another thing I'm going to keep inside the staterooms is I have a bag full of snack, sandwich, storage, and gallon size bags because there's going to be times when we're going to be off the boat the entire day. So what we'll do is we'll grab some extra breakfast items or have stuff sent to our room, put it in Ziplocs, and that will be snacks for the kids during the day. That's another thing I've got for the room. So that's some of my organization tips for keeping the room organized, well-managed. Making the most out of minimal amount of space minimal is space. what I would say you've done. Like I told you, we have two separate rooms. I've packed 
the older boys' toiletries, the little kids' toiletries. One thing I wanted to tell you for my toiletries, I pack everything into these like, it's like a plasticky material. I put it in here and look what happened when we went to DC. You could use a Ziploc. I particularly like these that have a zipper and everything. So my shampoo actually opened up and got everywhere inside of this. Now imagine if that was all over your laundry. Yeah, so it's important to use Ziplocs or these are just little things I got from buying other stuff. One thing I forgot to mention with staterooms, our boys are in an inside room. It is very dark, which is great for sleeping in, but I got them a nightlight for them to put in their room just so it's not so dark and scary. I also bring along with me all the kids' hair products. I put everything in Ziplocs. I do bring the water bottle. I use that a lot, but I bring it empty. Otherwise, I have learned you'll get water everywhere. I keep a package of wipes in each stateroom, and I'll probably carry one in my backpack just because you never know if you're gonna have sticky fingers. Mm, we need those constantly. We use them all the time. I use them all the time at home. I have one of these little bags for all of the things you hope you never need. Here's a few things that I'm gonna keep on hand. Some of these are specific to a cruise. Tums, hand sanitizer. I have several of these. First aid kit, Dramamine for kids, Dramamine for adults. These are wristbands. They go on your wrist and you put them right on your pressure point. That helps with motion sickness. Then you're not having to take the drugs, but we've got both just in case. We just don't know what our kids are gonna be like. We've never traveled on a cruise with them. Tide to go pen, Pepto Bismol for adults and children, eye drops, and ibuprofen for the kids. I feel like we are prepared. This is the one that'll probably stay with me more in my backpack if things I need if we're off the boat or whatever. But also in this bigger one, I'm taking laundry detergent in case I do end up having to do some laundry. Waterproof band-aids I did stick in here. I bought lots of antibacterial. 10 pairs of the wristbands just in case kids need them. Once again, a lot of this stuff is very cruise specific because if we were just going to like Hawaii, for example, we wouldn't need to bring this much stuff because you can just go to the grocery store and get it. When you're on a cruise and you're only in a port for a certain amount of time and we have activities that are already pre-scheduled, shore excursions, there's not gonna be a lot of like go to the convenience store. We're not gonna really know how to get around any of those no. things. Really, this is why there is so much what feels like excessive packing of every last thing that you might possibly need because you just might be caught in a situation where you don't know where or how to go get whatever that thing is. And like Mindy said at the very beginning of this, you can always find it for about five times the price if you want to do that. If you've got it at home anyway, but why not pack it up and bring you it? You can buy it. You can buy the store brand so it's cheaper, more affordable. Making this like a very cruise specific packing vlog, which I kind of like because we've done these for like road trips. We've done it for our Hawaii trip was kind of like a long flight tropical vacation thing. And then this is more of like a cruise specific and it just feels like, you know, with the formal nights and the different organizing things you need and the medicines, like there's just more to it, I feel like. Yeah, it's a lot more to take you. I feel like you need to be a lot more prepared. So now that we've talked about keeping everything inside of us healthy and strong, we need to talk about keeping the outer side of us healthy and strong, which means one thing, sunscreen. Lots of sunscreen. I have several different types of sunscreen, several different SPFs, some for your face, some for your body. We've got lotions, sticks, sprays, literally. We've got everything. Yeah. Wait, can I just do this one joke? What? Everything under the sun. <laughs> okay, oh go my ahead. dad joke. Yeah. <laughs> I also stuck in here some goggles and dive toys, a backup pair of floaties, but I will be bringing Hazel's Coast Guard approved floaty that she wears, this little Ziploc right here, here, full of sunscreen. This is the one that will be going with me everywhere we go, several different kinds. It's important to take care of your skin and wear sunscreen as much as you can. This is 11 days in the hot Caribbean sun. And if you get burnt on the first day, it's going to make the rest Not of the trip fun. miserable. We're going to take care of our bodies, sunscreen it up. That almost wraps up everything we have, you guys. Last thing I want to tell you about is this pretty little fan I got. We don't normally carry cash when we travel. Ever. But I feel like every single time we've traveled, I'm like, oh, I wish I had five bucks to tip that guy. When you go onto the island, some of them don't accept credit cards. We brought lots of bills. Well, especially lots of like small the street bills. vendors that kind of walk through with a cart, braiding your yeah. hair, or selling you snow cones, whatever it is, you gotta have cash for those. Yes, so what I did this time, I ended up getting two hundred dollars in cash. I did fifty dollars in ones, a hundred dollars in fives, and fifty dollars in tens. It's important to know I wouldn't ever take more than a hundred dollars off the boat with you. You have to whatever maybe you take, take a chance. off, be it willing could get to not stolen. come back. With. Yeah, yeah. So if you, someone steals my backpack and at least I only had $100 in there. I'll be like, okay, it was $100. It could have been more money than that. So even when you go to the airport, check your bags, the sky cap, whatever, you're always looking for fives or ones. Keep some money handy. Keep it available. I like how though. Bring cash with small denominations and never all of it on never your Never all ones. of it at one time. Well, I think we're all set. Other than I feel like we could use some really cool new merch to take on our boat. I mean, these trip. clothes are cool, but we need to swag it up a little. Should we just swag it up just a little? Just a little. Just a little. Okay.
Yeah. We figured we needed some new stuff to take with us to so you guys. We have ordered up very, very limited quantities of a few things. We are gonna start it off with a really cool visor. Guys, you might have seen Rye Guy sport in this. Have We've been dropping Ryler? it in the vlog just to kind of tease you guys, let you know that something's coming. He has not taken it off. Every one of his friends has been begging for it. I have a feeling this one's gonna go over big, I but know. you guys, this like is a flex said, fit visor. Ultra limited Pro. quantities. We ordered very few of these visors. Every single person on our trip is taking one, Michelle and Daniel included. Another thing is, is we know that we needed lanyards to carry our key cards, so we bought these, and you guys are gonna see as we're gonna use it on the trip, this hashtag, hashtag ABC ya 2019. That's the hashtag we're gonna be using on our whole trip. We've also got the Bingham logo and T-I-H-W-B. If you guys remember, we're going to the ABC Islands of the Southern Caribbean. That is the ABC. ABC so ABC ya is what we're gonna be doing. 2019 cruise specific lanyards. Yes. We do have a few of these that we're gonna be putting we up as well. We don't have many though. Not a lot. I will not tell not a lot. you that. I feel like we need to wear something cool. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we got our tees. Those these are, are the rad. kids, but we do have them in adults. We ended up getting logoed tank tops for us to wear on the cruise. They're really awesome. On the back again, it has our cruise specific hashtag ABC ya 2019. So you guys can check these out. I mean, when I say limited quantities, I mean I think we have especially like, on the tanks. We've only got like 20. I think we have no. Some of them we have like five of each size. These are like super ultra limited edition and so mad props to whoever snags them up. We apologize for those who aren't able to. It's just supposed to be kind of a fun, almost like souvenir from us to you guys on the trip. This is the women's. It's awesome. A little it's bit darker gray than the very kids. very soft. This is an OGO brand tank top. These are very, these were a nice one that we chose. And on the back it has these cute slits and then again the hashtag on the back. So we made the hashtag small if it's not something you want. Very bold. It's a little bit hidden. Again, we're so excited about these. We have visors, lanyards, and tank tops available for purchase. Head on over to thisishowiebingham.com slash swag and get yourself some. I think this almost wraps up our entire hacking vlog. That wraps up pretty much all of the packing needs. That's just the boys. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing to I see know, it like that. I had to that do that it is in just the toy room. Boys. That's not mom, that's not me. Hazy's over here. Hazy's, but I'm still doing laundry. That's a lot of stuff, guys. And then, as you guys know, lots of vlog gear goes into this. I got my backpack full of GoPros, drones, batteries, vlog cameras, all of that goodness. All the goods. The laptops. Now, we are a little concerned, you guys. We have and the best. A little? <laughs> a lot. We need a lot. Like, terrified. We have the best internet package that Royal Caribbean provides. It is their highest top end one in hopes that we can edit and upload vlogs. You guys, there is a chance that the internet might not be strong enough to get vlogs uploaded while we're at sea. We don't know. We've in never done case, this. In that case, we're like, do we go off the boat and find a place on the island to upload a vlog? We will find so a way to we'll bring you guys our vlogs. Hardest. Make sure you are following us at This Is How We Bingham on Instagram because I am confident that we'll be able to at least do stories using yeah. their Wi-Fi while there. So we will be doing stories all day, every day. We will still be shooting, editing vlogs and attempting to upload them. If you don't see them, it's because we are without internet. But we are trying. And we will upload them as soon as we are able to even if that means getting off the port going to some internet cafe whatever it is we will bring you the action from the cruise i feel like this is pretty much it we've just got to get it into suitcases into bags it does feel like though even though there is so much stuff do you feel like there's still something missing think, that we need to take with us i think we're us? missing one thing it's a pretty big thing <gasps> <laughs> That's what we were missing. Now we can officially go pack up. We've got everything we want and need. Maddie, are you ready to go to Puerto Rico? I'm so ready. Oh, let's go, baby. <laughs> With Maddie here, we've got literally everything we need for this cruise. We are ready to rock. We're packed up. We haven't done the carry-ons yet. We might do that in tomorrow's vlog. Stay tuned. Kind of the last piece that we need to do. We're gonna clean the house, ice up mom's foot, get her rested, get her better, make sure she can walk and do all the fun things, run on the beach, all the stuff that we wanna do while we're out there on our cruise. So great having Maddie here. It is one step closer to cruise time. It's feeling real. It's happening. It's going down. We are just so excited. <laughs> Sound like we Miranda are so sings. excited, you guys. I mean, it's about go time. Make sure you head over to <laughs> this is how bingo.com slash swag check out that exclusive merch that we fly in off shelves it is ultra limited edition so we are super sorry check if you don't get out. your hands on one enjoy it for those of you who do come back tomorrow watch us pack some carry-ons and get ready to head out we love you and we love night. you so much thanks for being a part of our family see ya you guys are gonna see as we're gonna use it on the trip this hashtag abc ya 2019. Not, yeah, everyone's ABC ya. Oh my gosh. ABC ya. I said it wrong. don't include that that sounds stupid <laughs> now with Maddie and uh, I don't know what I'm gonna say I'm gonna do it again here we go ready <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh, thanks. Uh, 